morning, it's Ali from Ali's Cards and Knickknacks. How's everyone going? Just waiting for the live feed to show up on my computer so I can um, see all. There we go. Hopefully I can see any messages that come through. Uh, how's everyone enduring the wet weather? Oh, we are so wet. Um, we're over it. Anyway, let's go on to something really happy and we're going to do Crane of Fortune. So we'll be using the bundle. It's on page 22 of your mini catalogue, um, the Ju January to June 2022. And today we're going to do this card and this bag, the ombre paper bag. I thought that'd be a nice um, set and as I'll show you, um, just before I close the book, the bundle is $81.75. And if you choose to buy the bundle, um, you can uh, expect to receive a free uh, kit, which is um, which will make up these. I, um, if you buy the bundle and put in my host code, this is what... Um, you'll receive a, a free kit and I'll leave my host code in the comments okay so here we go everyone I'll just put that aside I need that later so this is what we're going to make today this lovely card here and this bag with a wrap now my thought is see how it all sits up nicely I think that's great. Once again, I'm sideways. I thought I had fixed all of this. It's not sideways on my camera, but I'm sideways on the live. I'm sorry about that. If, if you've got your phone, you'll be right. But if you're on a, um, a PC, you'll certainly have a bit of a sideways video. I don't know. Thought I had fixed that. Not to worry, I'll press on. Anyway, I thought, what a great idea. You could put your lottery tickets, you know, the $5 ones and that, in there as a gift and um, have a lovely card in its envelope. And that'd be, and you could even put that in your bag, even make this the envelope if you wanted to. I'll just put it in. So. There we go. And you could add the lottery tickets in there. It'd be fabulous. So just an idea. All right, which will we start? We'll start with the card first. So I'll get the card going. Here's all our bits and bobs. Now, where's my card? Here it is. just put that away I don't think I need that as yet all right this is the card we're going to make there we go and I'm obviously missing a few bits and bobs I need those bits oh, here they are all hiding from me so we'll start. I've decided to do the card um, this way. It's called a tent fold. It's ten and a half centimeters, and it's twenty-one um, centimeters, twenty-nine centimeters. I'll just fold it. I'll just be more accurate with you. Yeah, twenty-nine point nine, which is a whole sheet cut in half. There we go. Now, um, remember, if you're watching me, to leave a comment, that would be lovely. So this piece we're going to pop in here, and I'm going to trim it down to fit. Now, you you look at it, it's lovely clouds, got some cranes, but you would trim off 
the bottom piece to make sure it fits okay so here's my cut trimmer I'm going to trim it down to 14.5 that little bit in the bin here we go beautiful and we just glue that in I get my glue pot I know it's a shame to use this side of the paper for glue with the gold but that's why you've got several sheets of each pattern so you can use one sheet for one side and one sheet for the other thinking of all the people in Lismore and Ballina today that are underwater I hope you find dry ground and things aren't too bad okay that's our base isn't that lovely I just love this crane here unfortunately we are going to cover up these um, so now I want I've got these little pieces here and they're three centimeters by six and a half centimeters and they will go on dimensionals like that and you just sort of, I like to put them on before I stick them down and make sure I've got it looking perfect. Now I've got a few little hairy bits here. So I like to use a nail file and smooth those hairy bits off. Just to give it a cleaner look. See the hairy bits? See the doesn't need much just give it a rub okay so I'm going to put dimensions on them now don't be shy with your dimensions because if you don't put enough on it flattens out and doesn't have the same effect and you really then wasted them if you haven't got enough on right at least five there we go take my pick I'll just line them back up so, you, and you can then um, put them down one at a time. I think that looks all right. All right, so we always do the middle first. Okay, middle going down there. Nice, quick, and easy. How's that? Lovely. Okay, next step is the sentiment and stamping of the crane. So we'll just put all those bits and bobs there. Now I've already stamped and cut out my crane, but I, I want to um, stamp it on camera. I just won't need to cut it out. Now I'm not using black 
black seems to be too dark for the crane and you lose a little bit of its detail. I am using smoky grey. And because I've got it on such a large block, I turn my ink pad over and ink it that way. There we go. Beautiful. <clears throat> now you would use the die cut to go over to your die cut machine and cut it out that way. But I've already done that to speed things up. I'll put that aside. I won't waste it, don't worry. See, this is my crane, but he goes on last. So next is the dimensions, um, is the sentiment. And we want wishing, wishing a life of happiness and a world of love, I think it says. So we'll need quite a large block. <clears throat> okay and I'll also stamp this in the smoky grey to match and that is on crumb cake that's our base colour and this is our beautiful DSP that you can buy in a um, suite if you wish. You could buy the whole lot in a suite or you could buy um, a bundle first and then buy the pieces afterwards if you can't afford the suite straight up. Okay, now I just want to trim it down. So I've got my trimmer out of camera. It's just next to me. There we go. I've trimmed it down. I must need to change my blades again. Right, there we go. Now this is going to go here at the bottom. And I'm also going to put these little ones in. So because I want it to glue... I'm going to put some tape on. Yep. To put my little bits on. And you can die cut these out. They're not stamped, they're die cut. And I think they're beautiful. So I've got this double sided tape, and you can work out where you'd like it. So I've done that. Now I'm going to add a little bit more tape. To the bottom and I'm going to go over the top and add a bit more that gives me reassurance that everything will hold I won't have anything coming out because most of my cards get popped in the mail so I like to make sure they're well secured I'd hate to think the cards come apart during the mail Okay, that's that. Now, our beautiful crane. Isn't he lovely? Lovely legs. I, I'm going to put him on dimensions, so I need the small dimensions. And the large, so here's my small. Because I want to put a dimension on his head to support his head and down here on his knees so they're supported uh, then I can use my large dimensions for his body it's a lovely quick easy card uh,
If you haven't seen this tool before, it's a pick. It's a fabulous tool. It comes with extra tools and they're double-ended, depending on what your favourite is. This one has like clay in the top. or It's more like blue tack and you screw it down and a tiny bit comes out and that helps you pick up your um, sparkly pieces. Right. Now, we want the crane's feet to rest here. All right. There we go. And now, it's not in the um, catalogue, but I've got these lovely little dragonflies that I wish to put on the card as well. I stamped them and die-cutted them out. You do two at a time and they'll go on little tiny dimensions on the card. I'll just turn it over. I like to bend the wings up. So there's one. You don't have to add, add them, but I just thought that'd be nice too. There we go. Now, what about some sparkle arkle? We all love our sparkle arkle. Well, I do anyway. And I'll use my pick. And you just push and slide. Now, what I like some sparkle. Now, these are polished dots and um, they're a clear and a soft pink. And they take on the colour. I'm going to put a... a we go. I just want to, I'm going to do five today. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So there we go. So this is my can. This was my first can. I've done it slightly different. I've put some dragonflies on and a bit more sparkle. And if you dress up the inside, you can just put your base card in there and stamp your dragonflies. So how's that, guys? This one opens up here like that. I haven't done the middle. Let's do that now. Put that aside. Move that out of my way. Just on my cutter next to me. I know you can't see, you might see a bit of my arm. So I cut it down to 10 and 14.5 and that should fit nicely inside. Beautiful. And before I do that, I'll get my dragonflies. Here they are. And what colour will we do? Well, they're grey here. So maybe a bit of grey and a bit of this which is calypso coral oh that's pretty how's that too much well i'm going to put it a step further dear oh dear can't help myself There we go. Now I'm going to glue that in. Close your ink up so you don't put an arm in it, which is always what I do. And my dear friend Julie does it often in class. So I do have two classes this week if you're interested in class and you're local. One's tomorrow and one's on Sunday. Just give me a message and I'll give you all the details. We'll be doing three different cards, but it will still be Crane of Fortune. Um, I'll just see if they're in arm's reach, the cards I'm doing. I might have moved them. Why isn't it available when you want it? I know they're here, but 
might find them shortly. So three cards with the envelopes this week because I want to decorate the envelopes. So there we go. Polish dots done. So we'll move on to our next one, which is the bag. So we're making this one now, which is a lot of fun. So there we go. Now, with this kit, you get um, a bag, you get the wrap, a ribbon. So you would get this die cut, two pieces of the um, grey, smoky slate grey. And we need the white card to do our stamping on, which you'll need to have bought your stamp set to be able to complete it. All right. Now, there's three ways you can do this wrap. First way is use the DSP and cut it out with the die and cut two out. But I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to use my DSP in that way. I've saved my DSP because I can stamp it. And yes, I can put the green leaves on at the same time. So I'm going to ink my flower. Right, that's done. I'm going to take a wet one, which I have always with me. Of course, I can't get one out of the container. So now the leaves and flowers here, I'm just going to give it a quick wipe just to clean some of the ink off. Being careful not to touch the flower itself. There we go. Now I'm going to use Stamping Up Stamp and Write pens. These are a... Um, uh, water-based which are terrific for our inks and we can use these so and I'm just going to color these in like that now we've got a couple of seconds while the ink before the ink dries I'm just going to go up here up here so it'll work fairly quickly colouring in my stamp <sighs> bit of hot breath on it and there we go how lovely is that so We've just made our own, so I'm just going to give it a quick clean. Ink up again, like that. Dab off some of the excess there. And then get into it with your pen. That's what I love about stamping up, you know. You can do so many things with their products. They're not just one for one thing. Right. Just need another one, so we need two of these. There we go, beautiful. I'm really happy with that. Now, I do have to die cut these out, so I'm using my die cuts and I'll go over. See, beautiful. I'll be one second now just amuse yourself or. Have a chat while I very quickly die cut two of these out. 
I'll try and be as quick as I can. I hate being off camera. Alright, that's one done. Now, number two. There you go. Beautiful. So let's put it together now. So I've got all the parts and I've shown you how to how to get green leaves on your I'll put my lids on. <clears throat> I'll just clean this hair off here. Now, leads on. I'm going to score this just to make my life a little bit easier. The bag's 12 centimetres wide, I'm pretty sure. Yes. So the first score mark will be 12 centimetres. Get your blade out. Now, Bring that score mark up to the 12 and go two more dashes. Okay, and score again. <clears throat> Have your bag. So I just want that. There you go. Uh, I'll turn that around because I'll want that the other way. Now I'm just showing you how. So there's the front of the bag. That's the bamboo. And the scoring keeps it up. Now I'm just going to put, you can either glue it down or use your tape. Your tear and tape. I'm going to use tear and tape today. All right, just make sure I've got it all in properly. There we go. That way it can move. Now our flowers that we've just stamped, you have one that way and turn one upside down so the stems meet in the middle. And just have a play with it before you glue them down. Now just glue them down to your belly band, what we call it. Okay, so I know not to glue there. Okay. Lovely. Next one. Done. So they're nicely done. Now we've got to work on our sentiment. So, and our sentiment today is much luck and good fortune, which is stamped. I've stamped it in the example in the smoky grey, 
but I'm starting to think I would like the Calypso Coral. I might regret this choice because I'm going by the fly. And here we go. Hope you piece straight. It doesn't look straight. Try again now. <clears throat> Bit better. And I'm just going to flag it. I might trim it all down first. I think it needs a bit of a trim. So I'm chopped one end down and making it a little bit narrow. And you've got to do this before you flag it. Need new blades. Here we go. So cut in the middle from corner to the cut. And we'll put that on dimensions. Big ones. There we go. Then we're going to place this here like that. Turn it over and we want to place our ribbon. So we'll ne need some um, tear and tape to do that, to hold the ribbon. And before I put the ribbon on, I'm going to flag the ends of the ribbon, which is just folding it in half, getting my scissors and diagonally chopping it. So I'm making sure the front goes to there. There we go. Beautiful. And now this beautifully, it's using the lovely shimmer paper that comes with the suite it's gorgeous it i don't know if you can see it on on the video it's got this beautiful luster on it now i want to put that in the middle here so but i want it to go like that so i'm going to put a bit more tape down here to hold that in place as you can see i'm layering away which I love doing. Oh, that's good. And now some of you might think, oh, that's overkill. But sometimes you just need a bit extra. It's a lot of weight. It's got to hold to the card or the bag. And the last thing you want is for it all to pop off when someone tries to use it. I can't get the backing off today. <laughs> it's because I'm on camera. Whenever you're on camera, nothing works the way it should. Righty, eh? That goes right in the middle there. And there you have it. And when you open the bag to put something on, 
all your flowers and that sort of stand up. Can you see that? It's beautiful. So there we have it. So I think we will put some bling on it. Some beautiful bling. large one up there, a small one, and two clear ones, so it picks up the grey. There we go. What do you think of that? I'm certainly going to use them for um, some birthdays that are coming up and put some scratches in them. So, lovely. Which one do you like? The one stamped in Smoky Slate or the Calypso Coral? That's the question. Thanks, Sam. That's very kind of you to say. I do like them. So here's our two examples. The one I've done today and the one I did the other day. So, great set. So... Uh, Really easy to do the double colouring on your stamps. This one has the dragonflies and a bit more bling. Uh, thank you for watching today. I really appreciate it. I um, hope you join me next Tuesday, 10 o'clock, same time. Um, while you're watching, uh, remember to like um, my posts. And also this will be uploaded into YouTube. And I'll have um, instructions on how to make both on my blog. All right. Happy crafting. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye for now.